that uh, double standards should be need to be avoided because the Bo in a way the Bhopal case uh, disaster was because of double standards. They had one standard of design and safety for the American plant in Institute West Virginia mm -hmm. and very different standard of design in the Bhopal plant. You know, mild stainless steel was used there, mild steel was used here, safety systems were different, all of that. So first is the question of double standard. And you can see that double standard even in compensation. Like uh, uh, if you see the Gulf of Mexico disaster, mm -hmm. Obama was, was talking about $20 billion. And here we are talking of half a million people exposed uh, with the most toxic gas. And uh, they have only paid for $70 million. So that's again a very clear issue of double standards. And the, the second issue is that the, that the West has to learn that these kinds of hazardous technologies it is, it's not like uh, you can run them safe. If you are producing hazardous uh, substances, if you are storing, using, transporting, then they will cause uh, mortalities and morbidities for sure. There is no getting out of this and no kind of wishing is going to help and and I think another part that is important to learn and this is what we are seeing even in the US we now know that uh, if you go by the body burden studies being carried out by the Center for Disease Control Atlanta then every American has anywhere from 3 to 23 pesticides in his or her body. So, if you, if you pr produce hazards, they will affect you. There is no way that you can remain mm -hmm. immune. Mm -hmm. And lastly, we see that the same corporations that are getting, uh, are absconding from criminal charges from India, they themselves, they are causing damage to the environment and to people in the U.S. as well. Mm -hmm. And so, it, it, it is not, um, while the government's policy remains that it supports the corporation and it supports yes. uh, its investment in other countries, but the harmful effects are falling on the, on the people there, on the citizens. So, like if, uh, to give you an example, what, uh, when the, uh, the Bhopal disaster here, it made the, in the US people got aware of it and people got a law by which they were, they had to be told, if a factory was being run, the factory had to tell people, these are the chemicals that we are hazardous okay. and can cause damage. But, when the, 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 the corporations tried to use the 9-11 incident to say that if we tell people about these chemicals then the terrorists will know that there are hazardous chemicals and cause havoc. But the point is, what the lesson from all of this is that if you have hazardous material, whether uh, it is the terrorists or whether it is the corporation, yes. whether it is being used for regular production, it's going to harm people and it's going to cause damage to the health of, of the nation. So these these have to be, I mean it is one has to understand that what was what goes around comes around. Yes. Basically. Okay. And and that's something that high time that people in the developed countries start uh, realizing because something like 9-11 happens and you find that the big response is why do they hate us so? Yes. And they should understand that Gopal is one of the many, 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 many reasons mm -hmm. why people have a very strong and genuine reason to hate. Yes. We have got right from the time of the disaster and much later from 89 onwards, we have got very good connections with communities that are being victimized in the US or in UK, other parts of Europe, 
parts of Africa, other parts of Asia. And uh, we are trying, because it is impossible to fight a multinational without having yes. transnational solidarity. Yes.